I got a really fun video for you guys planned today. Now, if you're already used to my world and you typically see me live or watch any of my YouTube videos, you'll probably notice something looks very off in the background. You guys know what it is? For those of you guys who may have guessed it, yes, this is the Bare Bones Texture Pack. Yes, I want to take a look and see what my world would look like if it was in the Bare Bones Texture Pack, making a look right out of a Minecraft trailer. So we're going to take a look, quick look around. I kind of want to see what a little bit of my builds would look like with this texture pack because there's quite a big change to say the least so i'm not gonna go through a full world tour or anything like that by any means we're just gonna take a quick look around and see what we can see and i guess we'll start things off by going to the storage room because of course i got hit with mining fatigue gross but i absolutely love this pack that kind of feels like we're in the middle of a cartoon or something like this like look at this look how crazy this looks Everything looks so flipping different. I don't know how to explain it. But now that we got that out the way and we had a little bit of milk, check out the storage room. Look how flipping cool this looks. Skulk honestly looks a little bit unchanged. The new tough blocks, I mean, oh, gorgeous. But I guess it's a really good way to kind of check out all the blocks in the game. Even the horse looks different. This is such a cool pack. I absolutely love this. Again, like I will say, this is just a resource pack. It's called Bare Bones for those of you guys who might want to explore your world with it a little bit. But the bushes look very, very different. This is exactly what you guys would see out of a Minecraft trailer. But just taking a quick look around, and I just absolutely love the look of everything. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Even the barrels look different. The hanging signs are different. I don't think the wolves have really changed all that much, but I'm excited to kind of see what the world looks like. So let's go up here and let's see what we're looking at in terms of other blocks. Even the copper pipes are just very different, just very cartoony. I don't know. I'm just so, so blown away with everything going on right now. Um, just taking a quick look at all the blocks. I absolutely love the way that the Prismarine looks. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I want to take a look around. I think our pirate island would look really, really cool. Or I cannot wait to check out Alice in Wonderland. That might be our next stop. Maybe we'll go to the city and we'll explore a couple of the builds nearby. So let's go do that. And what better place to start things off other than the Masa itself? Look at the ground. Look at everything going around here. I just... I absolutely adore this. This is so freaking beautiful. Let's check out the Hobbit Shire. Even the trees, like the way that there's not even like actual leaves or anything like that. They're just like little petals. I think that's absolutely adorable. My very first trees in the game and all that stuff. And just kind of walking around and taking it all in. It even goes really well with the sky pack that we have. Down here is the little Hobbit Shire that we have for Lord of the Rings. And everything. What is What does that look like? Okay, that, that's pretty much that's pretty much unchanged. Anyways, we got... Uh, oh, we got the old armor and stuff. This is just... Oh, this is so beautiful. Even the wood textures and stuff like that just really come out. Don't look at that. That, that, was, that was a different night, okay? It's good to see that it doesn't really affect any other packs. It's just kind of like a little bit of a paint, if you will. But just walking through here just gonna take it in a little bit i wonder if this works with shaders it absolutely does work with shaders oh my gosh wow oh my gosh the leaves move what is that that looked like a snail almost holy cow i love this is that an egg in the tree oh this is just chef's kiss at any moment, do I get to pick my jaw up off the ground? I really hope you guys are enjoying today's video. I know it's a really different one, but if you guys enjoy it, please leave a like. If you haven't done so, subscribe. This is obviously not the normal pack that I typically use walking around my world, but maybe you guys like the builds. Maybe you guys want to stick around. This is all hardcore. That was a really loud B. I love this sky. I don't even know. This sky looks busted, but oh my gosh just wow let's take a quick look over here at george's build because i want to see what a little bit of the landscaping looks like and then oh right i remember this guy we built this guy this guy's super cool it's the, our very first breeze 
I don't know if you guys would prefer watching this with shaders or not. I think it looks good regardless, either way. But wow. Let's take a look what this thing looks like up here. And then we'll move on over to the castle and the factory after this. I just want to see what the inside of this looks like. This looks incredibly smooth. Wow. It's like little, it's like clay almost. Oh, that looks super different. The, the, the flipping rare seed or whatever that's called. Let's go check out the castle. But first, let's check out this cool looking train. I think it even looks better with bare bones straight up. Honestly, the colors really pop. They pop so much. I absolutely love this. But yeah, this is our uh, dark train. I think it's pretty dang cool. Glass. Honestly, glass is a little bit hard to see through. Unfortunately, the mangrove didn't think I'd say this, but actually looks better. Well, better to a certain degree. I like the texture in it, but I also love the way that it looks normally. Just want to take a quick look around in here. The charge creeper. Charge creeper looks very different. Hello? Wait, is that like a different? Hold on. Hey, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Cats look the same. Jeez, I need to get out of there. The basalt, honestly, I don't even know what to say about the basalt. Don't know if I like it. Don't know if I hate it. I really can't tell the difference <laughs> right now. I have no idea. Uh, but I actually really enjoy the trees for the most part. I love the way that the brick looks as well. Do shulkers look any different? Oh yeah, shulkers have a little bit more of like a harsh line. Which is pretty cool. This was like a whole little scenery that I wanted to put in here to make it look cartoony. And it, it looks even better. It's like a nice little mural right here about the, the, uh, the warden and everything like that. Uh, I think this looks absolutely beautiful. Holy... Oh, look at the nether stuff. Oh, wow. I am. I am. I don't I don't have words. I feel like I'm seeing my world for the very first time ever. And like I'm exploring it like you guys would be all the new people coming into the channel, potentially blazes. So different, so different. I just want to look at all the different types of mobs and stuff. I don't even know if I think this is red glass right here and it's just it's just so vibrant. Ah, that's incredible. How do these mobs look? All lays. I don't think all lays would be really changed at all. The camels, everything's fine there. Fly up on over here. Let's check out the factory a little bit. I'm interested to see what the brick would look like. Oh, brick is um um I don't know if brick looks different. Everything else looks different, but brick doesn't look different. I, th I feel like brick looks the same. Interesting. I almost feel like the factory for the most part. Oh my gosh, this train, I think got a downgrade. <laughs> I think that train got a downgrade. Let's head on in here. Yeah, the glass, the glass is not as like see-through makes it kind of hard to like see what's going on outside of the fact but other than that i don't think yeah the factory the factory definitely looks a bit wonky the city basically looks almost unchanged honestly just the exact same thing but something that i think will be massively changed is our alice in wonderland area i freaking love the mushrooms oh my gosh that's mushroom stem alice in wonderland's island that I built for Bunny. Oh my gosh. I... Oof. Yeah. That pretty much sums it up. Let's get a little bit more of an aerial view, shall we? Gonna fly up in here and then we'll take a look around here and see what's different and what has changed. Because I see quite a bit of change, but then I see a little... Like, it works really well for this island. You know? It just works so well because it's almost like it works with the whole theme of this place it looks cartoony it looks inviting it looks vibrant like it should be it's just taking it all in with all the mushrooms and even the map i don't think the map would even change but our treasure chest right here i think looks fantastic everything looks very cartoony i think it just absolutely nails it on the head when it comes down to it like everything here is absolutely gorgeous i think it's perfect 
I'm pumping my own tires and I freaking love this area. Oh my gosh. It's nighttime. We got to sleep. I don't want to get blown up or anything like that. Now that we got that out the way, I want to take a look at my gingerbread house here. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It just works. It just works. I want to see if you guys like the texture pack or anything like that. Obviously, it's not going to be something I'm going to run 24 seven by any means, but I would be super interested to see how you guys felt if you ran this in your world. It shouldn't ruin anything. You guys should be 100% fine. I just literally threw on the pack and everything just worked. I think it looks beautiful. It almost gives you a completely different perspective on pretty much your entire world. Let's fly up on over here. I want to see what this looks like exactly. So Alice in Wonderland oh, over there. This is my... What is this called? Oh, Animal Crossing, right? This is my Animal Crossing Island. Just feels like it feels it just feels like I'm in the game. Feels like I'm actually playing Animal Crossing, but like just everything is just I don't know. It's got its own feel to it. I absolutely adore this. Let's go check out our experience farm. Seems very much more vibrant if you ask me, but for the most part I feel like this has remained unchanged. Love, 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 love the colors going on inside the Blaze Tunnel. Love it. Absolutely love it. The Blaze Farm itself, honestly, very unchanged. The Cathedral itself, honestly, way more vibrant. How about Bee's Castle and the Spider? Let's check this out. Spider, well... Sorry to say it, but the spider got a big downgrade. The castle, though, let's check a look at this thing a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell what the castle looks like because it's almost like... I don't know how to explain it. Maybe you guys would be able to explain it better than I would. Um, I don't mind it. I really don't mind the castle. I think the castle looks pretty damn good. I think that passes the vibe check straight up. Uh, the sun, not so much. It looks a little bit more washed out than usual, but yeah, I'd say the castle definitely passes the vibe check. I love how this video has just turned into a little bit of a world tour because I'm just as curious as you guys are into like what this world looks like with this pack. This is the pirate island for one piece and wow. It's, uh, it's got quite a bit of color to take in. I'll tell you that. But I don't I don't hate it. Let me get a good fly in here. I don't hate it at all. Actually, I actually really love the glass. The, the, like the rainbow effect right there. I think that's gorgeous. I think the sand works really well here. The dirt works extremely well. I, um, yeah, this, this passes the vibe. This passes the vibe check. That's for sure. What's the interior of this place look like? The hidden pearl just looks like a cartoon. I love this. Let's take a look at what these uh, these little spots down here would look like. Yeah, it almost makes it look like its own standalone wood. The uh, the mushroom stem. I wish I kind of wish that the mushroom stems looked a little bit more like that. And even this like, oh chef's kiss hey if you've made it to this part of the video let me know what your guys's favorite build is and if you haven't done so maybe consider giving the video a little bit of a like maybe subscribing might as well if you've made it to this part i think we're about what 10 15 minutes into this and i hope you guys are enjoying this as much as i am i just think this is so cool so inspirational to look at we got the the bakery up here which I think looks beautiful. And the Pegasus that we built for Jugs looks absolutely outstanding. I love the bricks. I don't know what's going on there, but I love it. The coral looks gorgeous. The whole build just looks so vibrant. I love the way that they did the strip logs in this pack too. In here. Hello. How you doing there, Clue Young? Sit right here. Have yourself a piece of bread if you would like. Little beacon chandelier type deal just what's the outside of this thing look like the coral actually held up pretty dang well everything holds up 
pretty damn well with this pack wow let's go check out some more builds and it's nighttime. you know what that means we're checking out the witch farm fly straight up take a look at that fog effect Ooh, it's got a little bit of a gradient almost i like that flying on in here loving it i honestly wish that i used the actual mushrooms for this but i couldn't have actually achieved like the shape that i wanted to if i did that i like the fact that the fog effects i mean that's like a little bit of a flashbang huh fog effects look great this whole ordeal back here with the actual castle eh. and, and by castle i mean haunted house i think it looks pretty dang cool pretty snazzy you ask me the puzzle does look a little bit messy not a huge fan of that the crypt with the witch farm back there looks pretty neat we got all of halloween town and all of its glory hello hello beautiful over here let's check out and see what the inside of this area looks like yeah, pretty cool. Honestly, I will say I'm not a big fan of the glass, though. Uh, the glass is a little bit dark for my liking. The carpet's very, very vibrant as well. Um, let's check out the raid coliseum, shall we? Uh, wow. Um, I don't even this this doesn't feel like Minecraft to me. It, it feel this feels like a weird mix. I think it's the brick. Holy cow, dude! Does this feel this this doesn't feel like Minecraft? It's almost like the textures just didn't load in, like, at all. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Um, this is pretty wild. This this is probably the most, I think, the most, like, wow that I've... Hold on. Hello. Don't you dare do me like that. Not publicly in front of all my friends. Uh, yeah, I think this is the biggest, um, uh, biggest change because bricks just look so cartoony even like this whole ordeal like everything just looks very cartoony you know i didn't even realize i even used coral in these pathways until i started using this pack i think that looks interesting this is the tree farm in all of its glory it i don't even know what to say like it, it's it's nice i like it it's different i wouldn't want minecraft to constantly look like this up and over the hill back over here the panda sanctuary honestly doesn't look different if anything it looks worse because of all the podzel that i use uh i i typically love podzel i know some people hate podzel but uh in this particular pack it just doesn't look good it's just it's just it's just a, it looks like halloween walking through the nether yeah Anyways, let's go check out and see what our drown farm looks like because it might look cool. Hmm. I don't see a change. Honestly, it looks the it looks the flipping same. Hold on. Take a look on the inside here. I can see a little bit of a difference, obviously, with the basalt and such. Uh, maybe underneath the water would look very different. Um, what are we looking at down here? Oh yeah. Oh, this makes you want to build like a bikini bottom, huh? Like from, you know, that. Oh, for flip sakes, not that thing again. Come on now, leave me alone, dude. I think this looks nice though. Reminds me of SpongeBob almost. I like the uh, prismarine on the roof too. I think that looks spectacular. Get outsmarted, get outplayed. I got a manatee here, so I don't care. If I get mining fatigue up in this area, get that. And now that leaves one more area, two more areas actually that I want to check out. Not including the end, because we're not going to check out the end. If you guys want to check out the end in the next video, maybe below this video up with all your guys's like thumbs ups and stuffs and stuff like that. Anyways, I just want to get a little bird's eye view of that. I'm going to make my way over to the roller coaster ride. That's kind of like a Disney ride. And the underground school of thieves, which is right here. Hello. I want to check and see what this is. So, ooh, 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 damn. I like this. I like this a lot. Anyways, hop on down here. Yay. What's up? How you doing? 
yeah this works this works really really freaking well i like it a lot it's very cartoony very hogwartsy buddy's over there teaching wishes and curses and not the bad kind of curses and we don't use curse words around these parts but anyways check this out like i don't know this is this is beautiful take a look at the library real quick and then we're gonna go check out and see what our minecart ride is like this almost looks the same to be honest i don't see much of a change here oh get your sniffing somewhere else uh oh whoa 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 relax relax don't be sniffing your way over here anyways are those guys in there was i safe safe oh yeah we safe okay cool um let's check out and see what our minecart ride is i'm gonna shut up and we're gonna take this in But I think that's basically going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. We pretty much just took a look around the world with a little bit of a different resource pack. Like I said, this is bare bones. Basically just makes the world look a little bit different than what you guys are typically used to. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.